How's it going guys? Welcome back to a episode. We're going to talk about how to fix some of the issues that you guys may have a bandy cam. I'm talking about issues where the video gets sped up and where the audio gets out of sync. Now, my solution here, I'm 99% confident you guys will not find the solution online anywhere. Because believe me, I looked for hours. I did not find anything on Google. I did not find anything on, on YouTube. And even if I did find something, the solution either did not work for me or it was at least a year old, which is just bad. So this is a step-by-step -step video on how to do the fix that will fix the synchronization issue you guys may have with the footage. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna go ahead and open up Bandicam. Inside Bandicam, you're gonna go down to where it says about, down the tab here, and you're gonna update your Bandicam version. You're gonna make sure you have the latest version of Bandicam because, you know, it's just really good to have the latest version. So just go ahead and do it. Um, what you're going to do next is you're going to go up to video. You're going to go down to where it says format. And you're going to go down to settings. After you open up settings, you're going to see there's all kinds of format settings for your video. Now, what you need to make sure here is that you don't compress your footage when you record. Compressing footage in any screen recorder is highly likely to make your video and audio get out of sync or the video gets sped up and slowed down and that sort of thing. Don't compress your video, okay? This will take up more space in your hard disk when you record. And I know people are gonna comment in, in the comment section here saying, you know, oh my God, it's taking up so much space. But if you want this to work on all screen recorders, you need to make sure you keep it uncompressed. Buy an extra hard disk or something, an external hard disk if you have some way you need to put the footage on. This is the solution, okay? So, you're gonna be choosing the file type up here and you're gonna choose AVI because MP4 is very friendly to you know editors and that sort of thing and it's very friendly to YouTube, but like I said, it compresses your footage, okay? Choose AVI because it compresses less. Now you're going to go down to video. The file si or the size for it should be full size because, you know, no reason to make it look like crap. Then where it says FPS, I have it set to 60. This one doesn't matter. You can choose whatever you feel like. YouTube just not long ago started accepting, accepting 60 FPS, which is why I'm recording 60 FPS. Um, you're going to go down to external codec, uh, sorry, codec, and you're going to choose external codec. There's a lot of different ones to choose from in here, and a lot of the fixes you'll find online will actually tell you to either choose MPEG-1 or Motion JPEG. Don't do this, for the love of God, don't do this. From Motion JPEG and all the way up, all these formats compresses your footage, which will make it out of sync, like I said. Now, here's the issue though. Why V12? is uncompressed footage. It's what you call looseless footage. And when you record with this one, at least for me, it only records my audio. It does not record any video. The one underneath it, RGB24, is also looseless, and it does in fact record video. Here's the issue though. RGB24 is so heavy to record with that it lags your games when you try to play with it. And I'm running a high-end computer here, and it lags my gameplay. When I'm playing something really, really non-demanding like Amnesia, it makes it lag. So we have an issue. We can't use compressed footage because it's gonna make it out of sync. And if we use uncompressed footage, it's gonna make our gameplay lag. So what you need to do is you need to go down to external codec and you're gonna go down to where it says dot, dot, dot in the side here, you're gonna click the button and it's gonna open up a codec list of external codecs you can choose from. Now, I chose the one called Logarith Looseless Codec, and you'll notice that you don't have this. You have all the other ones, but you don't have this one. That's because Logarith Looseless Codec, I, I can't even pronounce it correctly, is a codec that is uncompressed and is not heavy on your computer to use. Now, what we're gonna do in order to get this one, because you guys don't have it yet, is that you're gonna go ahead and open up your browser. And you're gonna go to this website up here. I'll, I'll actually go back once. You're gonna to go to Google and you're gonna search for Logarith Looseless Codec. And it's, you're gonna take the first link, which is gonna take you to this site. And I know this looks like something that might have viruses or anything, it is not, okay? This is just how codec sites look like. You can download the codec for free and you can make a donation if you want to. This is not my website, I'm not advertising here. 
Um, but you're going to go down and choose the top link where it says Lazarus Installer version something, which is an installer for 32 and 64 bit versions of Windows. Now, if you have Mac, I'm sorry, I don't know if this is going to work for you, but for Windows, it will definitely work. After you download that, you want to make sure you install it. And it's literally going to take four seconds to install because it's a codec. It's not heavy. It's just a small thing that is going to get installed. After you've done that, you're going to go ahead and go back into Bandicam and you want to close it down. Like I said, close it down. Don't leave it open. Don't skip this step. Close it down and open it back up. Go into video, go down to settings, go into the three dots you have here. If, if you did not choose external codec, make sure you choose external codec. Go into the three dots and you're going to have larger with loose less codec. Can't pronounce it, I swear. Um, when you have that one, you're going to choose it. You're going to say, okay. And this will fix the video thing. Now, there might be another issue you guys may have with the audio sometimes being all weird, like saying when you record something. Um, down in the audio section, I'm just throwing this out there because it's good to know. I recommend you use uh, stereo for channels. You set the frequency to uh, 48,000. And then you set the codec to PCM not MPEG-1 L2, okay? Choose PCM uh, because it's very friendly for um, post-production softwares like Premiere and uh, Sony Vegas and that sort of thing. So after you've done this, it should fix it for you guys. Totally, it should fix all the synchronization issues you guys may have with the video. It's gonna fix the audio and I tested this. I did an hour recording of a, uh, a game and I took it into post-production, I checked it to make sure that this is a solution and it works, okay? Nothing is gonna get out of sync. Um, another thing I do want to throw out there that might cause your out of sync problem is for you guys who record your audio into the microphone inside your screen recorder. Like you can actually go into the screen recorder and say, let's see, where is it? There's some sort of option in here probably where you record your commentating, like I'm talking into the microphone on top of your footage. Don't do this, please. Okay, go ahead and go down and, and download a program called Audacity, which I'm using right now, in fact, to record my voice. I don't record inside my screen recorder because it is gonna mess with your synchronization again. So use Audacity, which let's just go ahead and find that link already because uh, we might as well. I can't actually see anything because I'm recording up here. Um, go down to Google and search for Audacity, if I can spell download and it is it's free by the way it's free you don't have to pay for it and it's not illegal or anything it is a free to download uh voice recording software which is amazing for the fact that it's free okay download it for windows or download it for mac whatever system you're running on and use this one to record your audio next to your footage and then sync it together at the end when you get into a post-production program okay I hope this helped for you guys, um, really, if this does not work. Um, I, I experience when I come up with solutions for this for people and there's always that 1% of people it's not gonna work for and they post in the comments saying, oh, it didn't work, it's doing this instead. Can you can you fix it for me? Do, do, do you know what's wrong? And I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong. Um, this is the issue I had, this is how I fixed it. This is probably how most people need to do to fix it um, and I hope this solution help you guys because I don't know other solutions for it. So please do leave a like if it helped. It helps a lot with getting the, the video noticed and get it out there for other people who have the same issues. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye.